good day and i want to say hi to you and i'm giving you this word before you sleep tonight or as you wake up from wherever you are let's take this word together the bible says in psalms 23 verse number four though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me as long as you rise up in your day and look straight to all the challenges around you no matter how tense how terrible how terrifying your circumstances and challenges are if you can look around and say hey i know you are shadows you can walk through them regardless of how bad the situation Regardless of how terrible the enemy is militating and fighting and waging war against your lives, all you need to stand with is to know that if God is with you, every battle around you becomes a shadow. David says, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. As long as you are sure the Lord is with you in the journey of life, Whatever is confronting you becomes a shadow. And because there are shadows, you can walk through it. A shadow is a picture that can no hold anybody down. And so today, I want you to stand by faith and march on victoriously. Whatever Satan arranged across your journey, in front of your life, could be marital problem, could be health challenges that the doctor even told you you cannot survive it. They diagnose you and they say, no, everybody in your family die of cancer and you're going to die of this. Now, as long as you know God is with you, walking with you in this journey, name those challenges as shadows and you walk through it. Today, David says, even though I walk through the valley, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. When you stand in God's presence, every battle confronting you becomes shadows. Read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Wherever God is standing with you, whatever is trying to wage war against you has become a shadow. And you can walk through it and survive it. The children of Israel walked through the Red Sea. Red Sea became a shadow to them, and they walked through it. I mentioned Daniel walked through lions then, and because God was with him, he became a shadow. Even Joseph walked through the prison, and then he came out alive, and I became prime minister, because the prison becomes a shadow. What is it that is threatening you now? Stand on your feet and declare to the kingdoms of darkness, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And I stand in agreement with you right this moment, that whatever is standing against you, ahead of you, in front of you, challenges, satanic altars, curses from your mother line, curses from your father line, generational issues, Battles that insisted that they will not let you go. No matter how deadly the witchcraft powers from your family line, marine kingdoms militating and fighting your family, and nobody succeeded in having children or getting married, excuse me, today, stand up on your feet in agreement with that word. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me <clears throat> go <clears throat> today without fear go with confidence go with assurance and everything in front of you as long as you are with god and god is with you every battle becomes a shadow go ahead and walk through the shadow and testify shortly in jesus name have a glorious day this is Reverend James Solomon again, the author of Deliverance from Demanding Covenants and Curses. See you again soon. Bye.